Hello, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm excited you're here with me today. Today we are going to make a simple double pocket card. The products we're using are the Special Someone Stamp Set and the Special Day Dies, which are available now. They are $29 and um, yeah, they coordinate with that stamp set from the mini catalog. So my measurements are going to pop up here on the screen for all of the pieces that you need. I'm not even going to read them all off because you can pause right here and read them. So we're going to start out with our designer series paper, eight and a half by 11. We're going to score it at four and a quarter and five and a half. And then we're going to fold on the score lines and we're going to cut in on the middle score line on the left side halfway in, okay? This is the Please Does Punch Designer Series paper that is available now. This and the dies for the Special Someone stamp set were released as a product coordinating product release for celebration items and um, for items in the holiday, or I'm sorry, the mini catalog. So now that I have this cut, the bottom right corner, I'm just simply going to fold up to meet the score line. So you don't have to do any measuring or anything. If you just fold it up and bend it over, you're good. Now, I will tell you, if you're using cardstock, you're not probably going to be able to do that. Instead, you're gonna to have to measure. Here, we have to do a little measuring. So we're going to measure three inches in on the top and three inches in on the side make a little mark and then we can stick this in a scoring apparatus of some sort and score from mark to mark. So you would do exactly the same thing at the bottom if you were using a heavyweight cardstock except that you would mark it at four and a quarter inches. Once you have these folded over you're going to use your Tombow glue, snail, any kind of glue you want and glue it down so that it stays put and you're going to do that at the bottom as well. And then we have some folding that we have to do to make it all come together. So the top portion we're going to fold over first and close. So we're going to fold it from the left to the right and close it. And it's always good to burnish the edges with your bone folder. It will make all your folds nice and creased. Then we're going to fold up from the bottom. And now we have both of our pockets, and then we're gonna fold this last piece around to the back. Now, I decided to unfold this and add some glue, but honestly, you don't really have to. You could get away with doing it just like this. I personally just wanted things to be glued a little bit in place so that I didn't have to um, worry about them coming undone. So I put a small line of glue here at the bottom and closed it, leaving the top and side open so I could easily slip my pieces in there. And here I'm gluing down the side that closes to the crease and at the bottom. So um, once you fold that up, you're good to go. Your card will stay together. Obviously, you can see here this designer series paper, the way I folded it made the rainbow pattern on the outside, the flowers on the inside. I'm using Highland Heather and all of the other pieces to make my inserts. This is all very straightforward um, layering. So at this point in the video, if you don't want to hear stories, it's time to go. <laughs> It's time to click off. So I, the um, reason I say this is because I had a pretty nasty comment on my last video about my commentary. And she's like, I thought this was supposed to be a card making tutorial. I'm unsubscribing, which I'm thinking that's completely fine. Um, I get it. Not everybody's interested in hearing me yak. I totally understand that. But that's what my channel is. And so if somebody doesn't like it, they are more than welcome to move on. And I believe I responded in, in that manner. And I just said, that is the glorious thing about YouTube. The people that you love to follow, you can follow. The people that you don't care for, you don't have to. And that's it. That's the end of it. 
what always shocks me is people's need to leave nasty comment. I just, here's the thing. There's YouTubers that I don't care for. There are people that do YouTube videos that make cards. I cannot stand for whatever reason. It could be their voice. It could be the way they edit their videos. They make a move too fast. I mean, it. sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with the person. It's how they present or whatever. In that case, I simply unsubscribe or don't subscribe and move on with my life. I don't understand the need for people to like leave a nasty comment when when feedback is not being solicited. Now it's one thing if I say, do you enjoy this? Do you like this? Okay, then I'm soliciting the opinion. But anyway, it's just keyboard warriors. That's that's what it boils down to. And my husband was like, you got to let it go. You can't get upset about that kind of stuff. I'm like, I know, but I put so much work into this. And it's hard sometimes to not get, um, have a thin, to, to have a thick skin. Every once in a while it gets to me. Um, for the most part, I completely ignore it, but there are times. FYI, this front pocket piece, I probably would have made smaller. Um, it's fine the way it is. And I use that circle tab punch to create the little pool tab tops. Um, but ultimately looking at it afterwards, I was like, eh, that probably could have gone smaller. Um, we're using the little raccoon cause he's the cutest, sweetest and basic gray ink. We're going to stamp him full force in basic gray ink first. And then we're going to stamp him in smoky slate stamped off but I stamped him twice because I wanted you to see the difference so you'll be shocked at the difference I think so um I am going to ink him up stamp him off one time re-stamp him over the top of the initial image and then I'm going to ink it again and re-stamp over the little raccoon on the right and you will see it really takes away from the definition um, of like the first one has much more definition. So I liked the first one better. He is a little bit lighter raccoon. But, uh, you know, he's adorable. Sorry, I had to shut the door. Husband came in the house. Recording this on Sunday afternoon, or actually Sunday morning before I go to church. And so family is all home. Um, daughter's off school tomorrow because I don't know it's some sort of special day what is it president no president's day is next Monday I think tomorrow's Lincoln's birthday so um she's out of school two Mondays in a row okay so we're gonna just do some more stamping and you'll see I end up putting together the little images on the front of the card which are so stinking cute I just love it and I'm using up this scrap piece of white paper as much as I possibly can using Highland Heather ink I will also be using some petal pink um, ink for some of the other things so we're gonna stamp all this out got my sentiment my little talk bubble where my little raccoon is saying happy birthday I'm gonna put that on there okay let's talk about what's coming Friday is Valentine's Day. So um, I am going to be surprising my nieces, my husband and I, with taking them to Disneyland in summer, in the end of summer, September. And so I'm trying to come up with an idea of how I want to do it. Originally, we were going to give it to them for their birthdays. However, um, it's a pretty big gift. And I don't want it to come off as pretentious or as if we're trying to, I don't know. It just, I don't want to overshadow their parents um, because a trip to Disneyland is a pretty big thing. So um, I don't want sister and her hubby to feel like, well, how do we top that? Um, not that they have to, but you know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where you just don't want to be that person that makes somebody else feel badly about not being able to do something as grand as 
Disneyland. So the deal is, even if, um, you know, sister and hubby saved up money to go to Disneyland, I don't think they would. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like, they like Disney, like Disney movies and stuff like that. But my sister does not like crowds. She doesn't like being in gr big groups of people. Um, it is just totally something she would never desire to do. So um, I want to take her daughters because it's, I feel like it's the only way they're ever going to get to go is if I take them because I don't think she will make, I don't think she'll make it a vacation priority. If there's other vacations they could take, she will opt for other vacations. So we are going to be doing that this Friday, surprising them. And I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. I thought about doing some sort of like little scavenger hunt where I leave clues and they find different clues and then it eventually leads them to the surprise. I thought about just making them each a card with like a Mickey head on the front and then inside it's a gift card to Disneyland. Um, I don't know. So if you have any ideas for me or thoughts, I would love to hear them because I have some time before I have like four days basically, um, before I surprise them. So I would love to know. I'm definitely going to videotape it because I, I mean, I have to, I think it will just be so stinking cute to see their reaction. And the littlest one is going to be really interesting because she is a mama's girl. So Susie does not like being away from her parents. And, um, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how she reacts. I'm going to be interested to see if she's like, yay, but then like, oh no, that means I have to go somewhere without my mom and dad. Like, I think her first question is going to be, are my mom and dad going? <laughs> so we'll see if she actually ends up going. She may be like, no, I can't do it. I don't know. She's six. She's six. Um, she'll be seven by then, I think. Or no, she's five and going to be six. I can't remember. Isn't that horrible? Um, there's too many nieces at this point. I have too many. And I can't keep track of all their ages. I know their birth date days, but I can't keep track of how old they are. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited to surprise them with this. And I know that they are going to be, I know the oldest one for sure is going to be super excited. So we have that going on. Uh, hubby and I won't do anything for Valentine's day. We always get asked. I think people always ask like, Oh, what are you going to do for Valentine's day? I hate Valentine's day. I think we've talked about this before at some point. Um, I don't hate it. That sounds awful. I just don't care for it. I don't need one day a year for my husband to tell me he loves me. I just simply need him to be kind all year long, which he is. And so that makes me happy in and of itself. We do, however, always try to do some little something for our daughter just to acknowledge the day because we think it's kind to do that. So um, he does always try to buy her like a little rose or just do a little something to, to show up for her so that she doesn't feel kind of like left out of the holiday, I guess. Um, lots going on over the weekend, this coming weekend. I've got a really cool card for you guys uh, coming up Saturday. And then I've got some cool stuff throughout the week to share as well. So you'll have to check my blog. Um, I don't have a video for everything I'm going to share, but I do have some projects. So I wanted to do a little bit of extra stamping here on the inside of this card and on the little inserts. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay. In other news, um, what else is happening? Um, nothing, honestly. Okay. So my, um, actually I was going to totally share something that I don't feel like I should share. So we'll wait, we'll wait on that. It's just about my grandpa and, and his property and stuff. But if I have any family members that listen to my videos, which is unusual, but apparently there is one out there that occasionally listens and uh, I've already offended her at one point in time. So I don't want to say anything or do anything that is going to cause any problems. So at some point I will share all the things about what's happening, but right now, probably not the best time. So, um, 
long story short, I think we are going to be helping my aunts move and my aunt and my mom actually. And, um, there'll be some stuff like that going on. I'm thinking in the next few weeks or at least packing for them. Um, things like that. And yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot happening. I hope that you have purchased some of these new products that Stampin' Up! has released. There are links below the video if you want to buy any of them. And I don't know if you saw, but I do have a little special gift happening right now. Um, a free pack of Stampin' Dimensionals if you place an order of 40 or more with me as a thank you um, of helping me get to my 400,000. Isn't this card cute? I just love it. So cute. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. There are a couple of other videos here you can click on and watch. A click the circle with my face in it to subscribe to my channel. Shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And if you have any questions, always please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Talk to you soon. Bye.